Hey guys, it's Miraline, Delicious Delights. All right, so today I want to talk about a scent that I am so excited about. This has been on my wish list for give or take a year. I fell in love with it when I first smelled it and I have been eyeing it for a long time. <laughs> Finally, I got it and I honestly think this might be my next signature scent. I didn't have it for very long, but I have been wearing it every single day since then and I've been reapplying it throughout the day and I'm just in love and I keep on talking about it to whoever's around me, <laughs> my husband mostly, uh, my best friend and they're like oh my gosh she's still talking about that scent. So the scent here is from Liquid Imaginaires and it's called Blanche Bette. I just wanted to share my <laughs> my love for this scent, Blanche Bette. So this one was released in... Let me just check here. 2021, so it's fairly new. Uh, for those who like hearing the notes, I'll just read it out quickly. Top notes are milk, mystical, and uh, ambrette. Mid notes are tuberose, mahonial, incense, jasmine. Uh, base notes are vanilla, musk, cacao, and tonka bean. So as I said, I have been wearing this a lot. I haven't felt this excited about a fragrance in quite a while. I do a lot of testing, of course, and I wear so many different scents. Constantly trying new ones and old ones and rediscovering ones and vintage ones. But this has my heart right now. <laughs> this is the ultimate comfort scent. When I wear this, I feel calm, I feel relaxed. It's a therapeutic scent that just makes me feel good. <sighs> uh, the milk in here is prominent. I also get a coconutty scent in here as well. Uh, coconut is not a listed note. I also smell milk chocolate, or sorry, white chocolate in this one. Again, not a listed note. And there's this really nice fluffy, creamy kind of scent in here as well that reminds me of whipped cream. And again, not listed. So I have my own list of notes um, in my head <laughs> uh, with what this one smells like to me. There's also a very nice muskiness that I get throughout the scent that is very soft, airy, wispy, gentle. It sits behind all of the milky, creamy, sweet vanilla goodness, but it's definitely persistent and it's just a really comforting white musk scent. Longevity is excellent with this one. I haven't really timed it, but probably at least eight hours I would get with this one. And then I would reapply in the middle of the day and then at the end of the night I would wear it to bed as well. <laughs> so I like to wear this like all throughout the day. It never feels cloying or overwhelming. Uh, I do smell this one on my clothing and on my skin and then as I'm going through my day, you know, waving my hands when I talk, I would get these beautiful whiffs of Blanche Bette sweet, creamy, whipped cream, coconut goodness. So it's a gourmand scent. In the beginning, it's more like a delicious coconut cream, uh, milky scent. But then as this one dries down, I do get more of the tuberose, the floral notes. They're very prominent in here as well. It basically turns into a delicious a gourmand floral perfume. There's also jasmine listed in the notes as well. So it's a creamy, sweet gourmand white floral scent with a touch of incense in there behind the florals. And then of course, that fluffy white musk behind that. Just making it more light and airy and kind of like smooth <laughs> and flowy. It is a scent that is just amazing, absolutely to die for. So yeah, I think this is going to be my signature scent, at least for a while. And I would say it's definitely one of my top 
three floral gourmand scents. There's another one here actually that I think is in the same family as this one that is kind of similar but not similar just in the same family. So if you like this kind of scent profile other ones that you might want to try are Vert Malachite from Armani Privé. Uh, my husband's favorite on me always get compliments when I wear this from him. He is so in love with this scent whenever I wear it and I love this one as well. I think this one also has some gourmandy aspects. It reminds me of a green tuberose ice cream and I don't know if tuberose is actually a listed note. I think it's actually jasmine. But when I smell this I'm more reminded of tuberose. So I think this is more floral than this, um, but I absolutely adore it as well. And then the other one I think that would be in this category, but I don't own a bottle of it, is Love to Bros by Amouage, which I've also reviewed a while ago. I can link that down in the description box. So those three are probably the best floral gourmand scents I've ever tried. Uh, but this one has my heart right now. I'm so, so happy that I finally caught a bottle of it and I'm just in love with it. <laughs> Literally, I am in love with the scent. So yeah, that is my quick video of the day. My new signature scent, probably super addictive, very comforting, very cozy, very delicious, absolutely stunning makes me feel beautiful, makes me feel fancy, confident, one that I can picture myself reaching for throughout the entire year. So it's very versatile, expensive, yes, uh, but I think it's definitely worth it. So now I am very, very happy that this is in my collection and I just wanted to share with you guys my thoughts again about Blanche Bette by Liquide Imaginaires, which I think is an underrated house. Uh, there's one other one that I own from this house. It's a bloody wood. Uh, that was the first one I got and I have reviewed that as well. So I can link it down in the description box with the other links. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you've tried Blanche Bette, I would love to hear your opinion on it. Also, do you have a favorite from this house, Liquid Imaginaires? I would love to hear which ones you would recommend. Thank you so, so much for tuning in today, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.